All right, we are back here for another PSA reveal. This is a 65 card uh, reveal. It's gonna be a blind reveal. We haven't looked at the grades yet. I think maybe one or two I, I snuck a peek at, but other than that, it's blind. We sent this one out in, let's see, it started June 12th there at PSA, and we just got it back today. So by the time they shipped it, that was about 102, uh, sorry, 101 business days, which is almost exactly at their anticipated 100 days for a bulk submission. Uh, this is gonna be an ultra modern uh, submission. So everything is gonna be from 2017 to, to the present, 2020. And I've got several other outstanding orders. I'm actually getting one in a few days. It's gonna be uh, the 1980s. Uh, so I'm going to have some varied submissions, but this one's going to be all ultra modern. And some of these cards I've, I've are duplicates of what I had in the previous order. In the last order, we had 158 cards, and it was uh, we had 80% of those come back as tens. I don't think we're going to do as good here, but I'm hoping for about two thirds or so. So about 40 out of the 65 cards, I'm hoping for tens. So we'll fly through uh, these, especially where we got duplicates, but we're ready to go. Okay, I got my son Seth here with me again, and we're gonna kick it off. We have the first one, Seth, is a 18 update tops uh, Shohei Otani. I think this is rookie debut, and it's a gold. You can see the serial number there out of 2018. Uh, this is one I actually did see the grade on already. Uh, we had eights on this one, I believe, but came back a nine, so. Uh, good looking card there and this is going to be a theme you'll see again today guys that a lot of the cards a lot of the players I sent off uh, with the exception of a few were hot back in May when I sent this off and have since had subpar years so a lot of the value has come down on some of these players today uh, namely this first guy that I'm showing today so these are 18 update this is the base card for Shohei Otani I didn't have any of these yet. What did we have on these? 9, 10, 10, 9, 9 plus 10. So okay, so 9. Okay, so there, okay, there's the 9. That's a 9. And then these two. Gem, gem. Okay, so we got two 10s and a 9 in the Shohei. So we'll put him back here, even though he's likely to be displaced here at some point just because his values come down. I think that card used to be about 60 or $70 now is going for, I think about 25. And we got, uh, who's next? I think uh, Austin Meadows. Let's see, this is, <clears throat> okay, this is, I think the base card of Austin Meadows. Oh no, this is the uh, short print. Okay, so I had a 10 in this in another order. Um, so I, I sent in my best one obviously before, so it follows suit that we get a, a nine in this one here, but he had a subpar year, but he is, I think, gonna hang in there pretty well for his career. Uh, he's got a lot of talent. So this then would be the base card, I believe. And it's a 10, yeah, I really wanted to get a 10 in his rookie. You see it's got the RC logo up there for, for Meadows. So happy with that, we got our 10 there. I'm gonna start keeping Keeping my piles here of tens and nines, like I did in the last one. Okay, this one is a 2019 Austin Meadows. This is his black parallel. Picked this up uh, fairly cheap on eBay, just a couple bucks uh, raw. You can see it's serial numbered to 67. The blacks, I believe, are some of the more popular and sought after parallels that Topps has. Uh, just because of their rarity and I, I believe their appearance too. So uh, with the exception of the golds, but there's a lot more golds than blacks. This one I don't believe is going to be a 10. What do we have for this? Eight and eight and a half. Eight and eight and a half. And it's an eight. Yeah. So not as rookie. Got the future stars on there. But that one's worth hanging on to anyway. Love the love the black cards. Right, bud, what do we got? Oh, we got some Sotos. Is that next? Yeah. Okay. 
two of the just debuts in here. Yeah, these are 18 updates, but these are the rookie debuts. I never sent in these. I sent his base in already, but have not sent his uh, debuts. So this card has been going up in value, so I wanted to get some of these slabbed. And we got two tens. All right, that is a good card. Um, his base is obviously much better, about $180 right now, but this one I believe is pushing 40, 50 bucks in a 10. So happy with that one. I'm gonna actually replace the meadows with that one. Nice landscape look to it. Got some Glabers coming up. Yes. Three? Yes. What do we have on these? Uh, 10, 9, 10, and then like 10, 10, 9, I think. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully get two some. Tens and nine. Two tens and a nine. So this, I believe, is his debut card as yeah. well. There's the nine. Ooh, an eight and a nine. No tens. We did not do well on the Glabers. So I'll have to look over some of those, but I sent in my three best ones, so there we have it, no tens. All right, PSA, not, not off to a great start on this order. Hopefully we can pick up some steam with the tens here. Albies, these two, yeah. two of his base did not have any Albies. I went out and bought a lot of these, uh, which is coming up in a future order, but. I have two of them here, which I think were my best two I sent off, and a 10 and a 9. Okay, so we did get a 9, but we did get a gem. Okay, so really happy with that. Albies is another one that did not have a super year. He was injured a lot of the year, but he will come back, I have no doubt. Big Braves fan. You can see by my Murphy uh, figure there. Okay, now this one is a update, 2018 update. Vintage. Vintage stock. You can see the 99. This one I know is not a 10. Had a little bit of fuzz, I think, in the corner, but I think, what do we have? Eight or an 8.5. It's a nine. Okay, so good. We actually did a little better on this. And I don't believe, I'll have to check the pop counts and maybe I'll flash those up on the text. I'm not sure if there was another... Any more nines? I didn't think there was a 10, but you can see a little bit of, a little bit off right there. So they'll, they'll give you one corner, I believe, and give you a nine from my experience. So love that card. I'm gonna actually put that one up here too. <clears throat> now we got some Acuna coming up, and Acuna actually did have a good year. Uh, he's one of the few in this order that I did, him and Tatis would have a few of those. So this is his debut. I didn't have any of these slabs, so I figured I'd try and send some of these. Three of them, my better ones. 10, 10, 10, sweet. Okay, that's a good, that's a good deal there. I forget what his is going for now, the debuts. I think those were maybe up around 30 or so. Yeah, I have to check the value on those. All right, super happy to have those in tens. And then we have another Acuna. Which one is this, Seth? This is, is this a 17? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 17 Panini. Acuna doesn't have many 17 cards. He was big in 18, but what did we have for this one? Mm -hmm. The 17 Panini? Nine? Yeah. yeah, we had nines. And it's a nine. Okay. And this one is serial number two. You can see that in the upper left out of 9.99. So, good one for the Acuna PC. Okay, we got the next stack there. I know you're waiting patiently for yours. We're gonna get Seth. Seth has five cards in this order. We're gonna do those at the end here. This was the Diamond Kings. Is that yeah, the next one? Was, yeah. Okay, what do we have on that one? Diamond, it's a 19. Diamond Kings. Nine and nine. Nine and nine. A 10. Wow. That is sweet. I'm not sure. 
I saw that one coming, but I'm very happy to have the 10. Love that card. That one's gonna go up here. Another Acuna, this one is a Elite. I believe ES1 Elite. So this is a 2019 as well, but it's a red yeah. and you can already see a little bit of white in the back, which is hard to get those corners. I, we didn't have tens on this, right? What do we have on that one? Uh, the red, it's nine and eight and a half. Nine, 8.5. Getting a little cute with those half grades there. Okay, we got an eight on it. So a little bit off on that, but Looks really cool in the uh, in the light there with that refractor. I'm okay with the eight. That's serial number two. In the right, yeah, you can maybe make it out out of one forty nine. So limited edition there, short print. Okay, this is the Allen and Ginner. Seth, what do we have on it? Do we have tens on this one? It's the mini. Uh, yes. Two tens? Yeah. It's an eight. Wow. Not good at the the ones with the borderless or the 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 whiter borders. I've never been too good with those. I'm guessing the grays. Eight on the Allen and Ginner. All right. Well. Don't win them all. Okay, this is the Legends in the Making. Seth, did we have tens on this one? I think we did, because it was the better of the ones. Yeah, can you? Yeah. Okay, and it's a 10. Nice. With the rookie logo. This one has come down a little bit in value. It was a little bit higher demand for it earlier in the season. So that's a recurring theme. Here's the 83, Seth. Acuna 83, did, what do we have on this, nines? 10 and a nine. 10 and a nine, did you have the 10? I believe so, yeah. Okay, well you're usually the better grader. Nope, it's a nine. Okay, so rookie logo for the PC, it's a little bit off center, you can kind of see that, just kind of slightly to the left. So about as we figured on that one. Okay, here's another Acuna, Seth. This is the, I think this is a short print. Sign an autograph, yeah. Yeah, hoping for a 10 on this. It's got a decent black corner down there. It's a 10. All right, pulled a 10 out of the last order. And this uh, short print, absolutely love this card. It looks great in that slab. And I think I'll... Take the Soto and move him off there, even though that Soto is nice as well. All right, now we got some Vladimir Guerrero. So going with the theme of cards that, of players that uh, were hot when I sent them in and cooled off dramatically, here are Guerrero 19 updates. This is his rookie card base. And I sent in my better ones in previous orders, and yeah, you can see that. Right here, guys, 999. So not um, terribly surprised with the nines in those cards. And I'm a little long on Guerrero. You got to be right now. He's 21 years old, and he can hit the ball when he, when he makes good contact with it, and he'll learn. He'll get there. Um, okay, so what I think we have next, Seth, the, the um, short print, Guerrero? Yeah. Okay, what do we have on this? Two nines. Two nines, okay. I had a 10 in this. Yeah, this is a short print. I had a 10 in this, and I have one more in an outstanding order, which I think is better as well. This one, I think, had just a little, yeah, a little white notch in that upper right, just, just to the right of the corner there. I think that's what might have done, guys. So, again, you got to be long on this guy. He's going to be, he's going to bounce back. He's just that good a hitter. Okay, this one, this is the no number. So, sent off a bunch of these 
and the last order got four tens, I think. This is my worst one, but I figured I'm gonna send it anyway, just because it's a Vladdy and it's uh, a short print. I said nine, you said five. A nine and a five. Okay, so this is one of the few where we're at big discrepancy here between Seth and I. Let's see who was right. An eight, well, you were actually closer. I didn't like the, I thought there was a, like a print defect on this. And as I run, you see that right there, as the light shines on it, it's just got some print creases in it. And I think that's why they lowered it from a 10. And I was thinking they would go way lower, but uh, I'll take an eight on that for sure. Very happy with that, because I thought it'd be much lower. Yeah, you can see that in the in the glare. Okay, what's next? Tatises. So one guy that did pull through for us this year really nicely. I've got his update. Uh, so his rookie debut, 19s. Have the rookie logo on it, but it's a debut card. This card has been really on fire. And I wanted to... <laughs> I thought I would be getting five tens, but we're not starting off good. Eight. 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 Eight and seven. Mm. Wow. Wow. This was a real disappointment. No tens, not even a nine in there. These cards looked outstanding to me. <clears throat> and I was thinking I was getting to be a really good judge, but these cards I thought for sure would be tens. Four eights and a seven. That is a big, big disappointment there. Seven. I'll look at that. But I am not going to see anything, I don't believe. Wow. That's a shocker. Wow. That is not good. Another Tatis. Uh, this is the action. See the word action there? This is 2020 Heritage. Good looking card. So I went to get it slabbed and... It's a Tatis, so why not? And I don't, what do we have on this? Are we? Nines, I think. Two nines and a nine. Okay. I think there was a bit of a centering issue, was what I saw on this. Maybe um, too low, too, too much to the bottom. Great looking card, though. So it's going to go up here. All right. Seth, a Tatis gold. 2020. Don't believe this is a 10, but it could be close. So there's the serial number on it. We had nine on this one. I think, yep, yeah, there right there is a little bit of white you can see in the corner right there. And that's what's keeping it from being a 10. Still a Tatis and it's still a Serial numbered card. Okay, the McNeil. All right, I took a shot on this one, buying it raw on eBay. Uh, I forget what I paid for it exactly, but it looked flawless in the pictures and it looked flawless in my hand. So I sent it off. I, I, McNeil just murders the Braves and he's a great hitter. I looked at his numbers actually earlier today. In three years, his lowest batting average was 311 and that was this past year. So. He was a little bit of a late bloomer, but still a solid hitter, and I think an underrated, underappreciated uh, card. What do we have on this? Did we both have tens for yeah. it? Okay, so really hoping for a ten on that one. It and is. That is a solid card right there. I don't know if there's more tens in the pop count. I'll have to get those numbers. There might be another one or two. That's very happy with that one. That one came out as expected. 
put a little bit more scrutiny on those blacks. Um, can you hand me the next stack over there? Okay, we're over halfway there. We got the Gavin Lux. We had two of these. I'll explain the second one later, but this is the Turkey Red, and Gavin Lux is another one that was very valuable when I sent these in, and now not so much. And we have a 10 on this one. So that centering is not great, though. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that. That's about 60-40 centering, but they let that one go. Got a 10 on it. I'm not sure how that's a 10, and all those Fernando Tatis rookie debuts are 7s and 8s. Anyway, okay, we have two Donruss. I, I bought a pack of these. They just come out when I sent it, and I bought a pack and got these two. Figured I'd send them in. Don't know if I was what I was thinking, but I did anyway. Two rookies and a not so popular set so we did, i think we had tens on these right deluxe I don't know of. oh well you saw something i didn't then i got a 10 in a lazardo mm -hmm. eight and a half in the lux <laughs> i think they're getting tougher honestly i thought they were very you know, maybe there's a you can you can see a hint of Maybe a ding in that lower left corner there. I think they're getting a little tougher. Yeah. All right, another one. Another one that uh, was hot when I sent it in and he had a cool year, so now he is much less valuable. I'm gonna fly through these. I got six of these and these are not my best ones. My best ones were in the previous order, so I'm guessing a bunch of nines here. Oh, there's a 10. There's a nine. So one 10, one nine, two nines, three nines, four nines, and five nines. Okay. A nine probably was worth its weight when I sent this in, but not now. This is probably about a three or four dollar card. Right now. Okay, we've got some Keston here, uh, 84. And then I think I have 184, is that right? And then three crown or silver, or just three silver, silver packs. packs. So the 84 is a nine, mint nine, okay. And then we have three of the silver packs. So I'll go through these. Hopefully we got some tens. There's one ten, two tens, three tens. Okay, three tens and the Keston here, a silver pack. So happy with that one. Hopefully he comes back. He's another guy in his early 20s. You want to look for those early 20s uh, guys who are just breaking in there. Um, you know, the Jeff... McNeil, he's 28 right now, even though he only has three years under his belt. He was kind of a, a late bloomer, so his career stats might suffer a little bit. But Keston here still has plenty of time. He's kind of a five-tool guy. Could be a 30-30 guy. All right, we got some Jordans. We got three base Jordans. What do we have on these? Hopefully all 10s or 9s. 9, 9, 9 plus 10, 9, 9 plus 10. Okay, so we've got a 9 eight and nine. Okay, so clearly this was not my best Jordan. I have I was 13 for 13 in my larger order, all tens. And so this this was my second tier and it shows with the nine eight nine. Okay. So be it. Now we have the 85. Okay, this is, I believe, the 80, just the 85, and it's a 9. Okay, I thought this was going to be a little better than that. Nice looking card. And then we had a silver pack. Seth, do we have 10s on the silver pack? Uh, you were done? Yeah. Yeah, oh, 10 and a 9. You, you said 9 plus. I had 9. Okay, it's a 10. Good. Happy with that one. Love the reflect, refractor on it. Okay, I mean that last stack. So we have a couple more cars to go through here.
This is the Tops Now. Tops Now. I have no idea why I sent this one in. I don't even like these cards. But it's a 10. We'll take it. This is just filler material for their packs. But it's a Jordan, it's a 10. And no, it does not have the RC logo on it. But anyway, glad it's a 10. And this one also, because I was really high on Jordan, and Jordan's another one in this order, like other was that is tremendous potential. Just, you know, he was injured this year and he came back for one or two games at a home run, like his first at bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was about all he did because he re-injured himself, but I think he's gonna be ready to go. And he's another one of these 21, 22 year old guys that just has tremendous talent. So hang on to the Ordons, even if they're not uh, great sells right now, but it's a good buy. And this is a black, this is one of the Jersey patch relics. It's a black numbered to 149. What do we have on this one? It's not a 10. Nine? Nine, yeah. Both had nines on it, and it's a nine. I really like this uh, jersey patch look to it. And with the black on there, it's pretty sharp. It's got the RC logo. So happy to have that one and be hanging on to that. Okay, there's two Devers here. The first one is mine, and then we'll go through... Uh, Seth's cards here. This is a Devers and it's a gem, gem 10. Okay. And now we're going to go through Seth's cards. Seth, you got five cards here. And we'll flip through these. What do we have? We had all tens on yours, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we'll flip them. Ready? Devers. Oh, got a nine. A nine on that one. Keston here, this is his base rookie. Got a gem min on that one, got a 10. Eloy, this is like your second or third Eloy. Gem mint 10, all right, good card. Got the Pete Alonzo, how many of these we have? We have like 50 of these. Yeah. <laughs> And this is, I believe, your third one of these. And this one came back a nine. It's a little bit a little bit lower than the other two. Yeah. And then this is this his base? Yeah, this yeah. is 410. So this is his base card. Mm -hmm. This, come on, 10. Come on, 10. Nice. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. That makes up for the whole order right there. Nice. That's your second Tatis 10, right? Yeah. All right, guys, that was it. We just have this one more right here. And this is actually, I got to give PSA a little bit of credit on this one. This didn't get, oh, this didn't come back graded, but it's a real quick story on it. I sent this uh, in. I got a 10 on the other one you saw, but this tricky red Lux here, I got a phone call from PSA after the order was done and graded. And there was a customer service uh, woman on the, the other line, and she said that in the process of slabbing this card, they dented it. And I guess even if you see the light, you can see a crease right there, uh, just above his, his right leg. And, uh, yeah, you see that? And she called and, and said that, she was just uh, apologizing profusely and, and saying, you know, wanting to know what I wanted to do and how they could make it up to me. And she looked at the expected value. She actually got a hold of their pricing uh, agents at PSA and, and said that they will reimburse me, or they said the value, it was a nine, uh, but she said because of the, what they did to it, she said it would be a five. I did not want a five in this card. So she said they'll give me the, the value of a nine, which they determined to be about $10. And she doubled that and gave me 20, took $20 off the order and did not charge for ship or for um, grading fee on this card. So I really felt that they, they did a decent job customer service wise on this card right here. So I had to give them a little bit of a shout out. Uh, anyway, that's the order. There are the highlights from it. 
uh, not too bad, uh, but here is the stack of, uh, we have the seven, we have the eights, we have the nines, and we have the tens. So you can see on this order, we were a bit under with our predicted tens, especially on those Tatises. I'll have to look at those. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll, we'll actually, in a few more days, we will be getting another order of 1980s cards, so we will see you then.